is trying his best to stop this revival. He sent confusion. He sent distraction. And now he's sending sickness. But we rebuke it in the name of Jesus. <laughs> because sickness cannot stay in the presence of God.
flesh loves gossip. The flesh loves drama. The flesh loves attention. The flesh loves followers, Jeremy. How many like my post today? The only one that can help you and bring you through what you're going through is the master. The enemy would like for you to get discouraged and throw your hands up and say, what's the use? I'm going to tell you what the use is. There's a heaven to gain and the hell is shown. We're living in the time of age, folks. We better get to a place where we can discern what is and what ain't. Come on now. Folks, I have felt a hindering spirit this whole service. I've been in this thing for a long time, folks. Amen. 
In the book of Psalms, I don't know how long I'm going to preach, but I'm going to preach a little bit. But I'm going to tell you what David said. Let's go to chapter 120 first. 1 and 2, then we'll drop down to 121. In my distress, I cried unto the Lord, and he heard me. Now listen to verse 2. Deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. Drop down to 121. David said, I will lift my eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help coming from the Lord which made heaven and earth. Yes. Want to preach upon the thought tonight, time on the don't give up, just look up. I said don't give up, but look up. Amen. See, we can look upon man, but man will fail us. Come on. God won't fail you. God's the one that you can trust in and believe in. Come on now. The enemy will take any little thing to get your mind off of God. Yeah. That's exactly what he's done tonight. Amen. 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 But I ain't going to leave here until I deliver my soul. Amen. Oh. You've got to look up until the Lord was coming for help. Amen. Yeah. Man will fail you. Amen. Man will disappoint you. Oh. But God won't disappoint you. Oh. But I will tell you what God will do. He'll get your attention. Amen. Huh? Come on now. Yeah. Again, he said, look up for your redemption is drawing nigh. Yeah. Amen. Lord, I can't even walk without you holding my hand. Yeah. Oh, we're living in the time. Amen. God is telling the church, it's time to lay down every way and sin. It's so easy. But seven Sunday. Time's about to get tough. God's fixing to separate the sheep from the goats. Come on, Come on now. The devil can't stand the word. And he can't stand somebody that's trying to live the word. The time that we're living in, he said it's going to wax worse and worse. Come on now. Satan is standing up in your face if you'll let him. But can I tell you something? He can't pass by the bloodline. He can't go through the bloodline. He's Yeah. 
They said, well, you ain't supposed to have a saw. Well, God put it here for some reason. <laughs> Just need to use wisdom how to use it. Uh, that's right. Same way with the anointing. Satan wanted to hinder tonight. But I'm telling you, don't give up, but look up. Huh? If you go around with your head down, you're not going to fall. <laughs> Huh? You know, I remember years ago, I don't know why God brought this to me now, but I'm going to have to tell him. Tell it. Mama said I'd done this, so if Mama said I'd done it, I must have done it. <laughs> she said I'd draw my fist when I was about 14 years old. She got after me, so I took off and run. I know you can't catch me. <laughs> but I forgot about the hole in the backyard. Uh -oh. And guess what happened? I found the hole. I fell. And that little woman like to beat me to death with a fly swat. She wouldn't let up. But you know what? She got my attention. I'm trying to get somewhere now. Come on now. Has God got your attention enough that you're listening to what he's saying? Come on. Or do you think you got to do your own thing? <laughs> when you think you do your own thing, you're in trouble already. Right. It ain't about you. Right. Huh? Right. It ain't about you. It's all about him. Huh? He's the one that wants to praise. He's the one that says, if I will lift him up, he brought all men unto him. Amen. 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 Yes, Jesus. Bless him all. Yes. Now, in this case, you don't know it. Somebody's watching to see what's going to happen. Uh, 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 come on, Chris. Uh, yeah. oh, I guarantee you. I bet people say, well, I told you so. Uh, uh, I know where I'm coming from. <laughs> times are about to get serious. Yeah. And God's separating the tires from the wheat. Uh, you know, one thing I had to learn growing up as an old country boy is how to use a hole. I didn't think it fit my hand, but my paper said, oh, I fit your hand real good. Yeah. <laughs> and there ain't nothing but more aggravating to have a bunch of crap grass in the garden. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And if you don't get it by the roots, uh -huh. it comes right back again. Yeah. That's the same way with sin. If you don't get rid of it, oh, it's got roots, yeah. sir. Yeah. It'll come back. To get rid of the roots, uh, you gotta get the word. And when you get the word, the word will take care of the roots of the sheep. Satan don't want you to come to the house of God. He don't want you to have peace of mind. Come on. Huh? I, you know, here lately, it's hard to get a good night's sleep anymore. Because of the enemy. Constantly. Warfare. He told us his day was coming. Yeah. Huh? That's why he said get prepared. Make preparations. Know who you abide in. Amen. 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 Man, I fail you. I can't get off of that tonight. Amen. Man, I fail you. Amen. Not even meaning to. Amen. But we're human. Amen. Huh? I look around today and I think, my God, what's he going to take to wake her people up? Huh? I, I, one time years ago, I got a woman from this. But I didn't know what, what the problem was. But every time I went to the same church, the same guy would sleep. I mean, he snored. Right? I'm not talking about this little snore. I'm talking about, you can hear me. One night I sat behind him. And I thought, I'd like to hit you right in the back of the head with the word. <laughs> I didn't, said he. And come to find out, he had that sleep at me. I'm glad I did. But I'm going to tell you something. It's hard to preach when somebody's snoring. <laughs> Come 
Because that gets somebody's attention off of the Word. And that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to get your attention off of the Word. Somebody needs a Word tonight. And the only way you get the Word is by paying attention to what's being said. Time that we're living in, it ain't about chocolate cake and ice cream. Nope. Amen. And once in a while, you gotta have some meat to chew on. Right. Yeah. Amen. Brother, I, I, I'm a meat eater. Yes, sir. Huh? I am, brother. I ain't seen a piece of meat I don't like. Amen. Come on. Amen, brother. I'll fix it any way you want. I like it fried, I like it baked, I like it broke. Does anybody make no difference? As long as it's meat. I even like hot dogs and bologna. Ooh, good they ain't nothing no better than a good fried bologna sandwich or hot dog sandwich. The generation today is stirring their nose up this type of food. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and they're also stirring their nose up at the Word of God that's been preached this day and time. Yeah. Come on. They ain't got an attitude. Yeah. <laughs> ain't nobody gonna tell me what to do. Uh, yeah. uh, the Word is the only thing that's gonna help you. I thought, Lord, the time that we're living in is getting serious. Yeah. And people is not taking it to heart. No. Oh. But I'm telling you, they're fixing to. Because we ain't seen nothing compared to what we're fixing to see. Now, folks, our leaders, if you want to call them that, <laughs> needs a dose of salvation. Come on, preach, brother. Now, if you get offended me, you let me know and we'll go along and pray together, okay? <laughs> but we've got a president that can't put his own coat on. If he can't put his own coat on, what's going to happen when a decision needs to be made, amen, that only a president can make? Is he going to be able to make it? No. Huh? Folks, this ain't about Democrats, Republicans, and Independents. This is about leading the country. And they ain't leaving it to God, they're leaving it further away. Amen. Come on now. Amen. Think about what I'm saying. Times are getting serious and we're lollygagging around. Amen. Amen. For an evangelist, it's almost impossible to get a revival. Mm -hmm. Used to, I preach 25, 30, 35 revivals a year. I don't know where they got tarred up and sick up. I don't know where he'll work no more. Be an honest man. Because huh? I'm going to preach you the word. Amen. You the ready or you ain't. Amen. You the saved or you lost. There ain't no middle ground. Amen. Ain't no maybe. I hope so. He is my hope. He is my hope. He is my hope. And the Bible says without that hope, they're what? Miserable. Yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, have you ever, I used to be a hog farmer. And they ain't no more nastier animal on this earth than a hog. He'll find the most nastiest hole he can find to get in. He'll eat the most nasty, disgusting things that they are. But I don't know nothing that tastes any better than they pick the tender on the report shop. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta look beyond that. Yeah. You don't remember where it's at, you remember where it's going. <laughs> Same way with the word, brother Rob. We gotta have the word. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to shoot a code me. I don't know how it is. Amen. Yeah. You know, I've been telling the people here for the last 40 something years. Maybe longer than that. I ain't seen nothing worth me going to hell over. Amen. Huh? I think about things. And I think, Lord, I don't understand. But Lord, I'm hoping you can. Amen. I may have told this here before, but I'm going to tell it again. No, I ain't getting seen now. I know what I'm talking about. But I walked up toward her grave just not too long ago. The Lord's supposed to. She's not here. But you must press on. Amen. 
for the work to be done. Amen. Amen. That's what I'm doing. I'm working. Amen. Amen. I quit worrying about a man across the door a long time ago. I quit being worried. It don't make me no difference. The cat's been bad. It's been a call. Church of God sent me to God. Man, it don't make me no difference. I ain't too crazy about going to the snake out of the church, but I'll go in there with God help me. <laughs> See, I've been to the snake out of the church. No, I ain't never had on one. God gave me no food to live the devil alone. Amen. Amen. Uh, I'm going to tell you something, folks. We're living on time. Satan got to kill and still destroy. But Jesus said, I've come to give them life. Yeah. And give them. See, you ain't lived till you sell out to Jesus. You'll never find a more miserable person than somebody who's got one foot in and one foot out. Come on. Amen. They cry about everything about the church from the pastor on down. Come on now. Huh? Come on. Come on. I didn't come to satisfy you. Come on. I come to give God praise. Amen. I come to give God worship. Because see, it's just like you. You gotta love to go to heaven, but you don't, you ain't going. Amen. But the time that we're living in, we must not even let the thought run through our mind to give up. I remember a little sister in my home church many, many years ago, Sister Bible. She was about five foot two or three. So she put her hair up and she had one of what they call beehives. <laughs> and I'd watch because I was young and I wanted to learn. I was hungry for what they had. Uh -huh. Man, I'm telling you, she began to sing. I can see her in my mind right now. She'd rear that head back, look at Jesus. She said, I can almost see the lights of that city as they're gathering all around God's world. Can you imagine? When all the children of God gets home, can you imagine what a hallelujah glory, hallelujah, and the praise is going to be that hear people say, well, God, my good and faithful servant, enter yes. her in unto the glory yes. of the Lord. Yes. Amen. We better quit worrying about what other people think and get a little closer to God. Yes. Uh, yes. Huh? Hallelujah. Growing up, you know, we didn't work like we. <laughs> you did a little time with penniless as next to God. Is. There's somebody say you made it. Hey, <laughs> soap does wonders for you if you use it. <laughs> Amen. And a wash rag will sure do good for you if you use it. <laughs> Come on now, you know what I mean. I ain't trying to be that. I'm just going on with it. Huh? We've got people in our churches that need the Holy Ghost. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's where some iron is too, but they spoke to you. But I'm telling you, folks, we're living in the time. It's time to quit playing. Amen. And it's time to get down to business. Because we're living in the time, folks. This thing's about over. Yes. I don't know when it's coming, but I know it's coming. Amen. <coughs> All you told me to do is to be ready. Yeah. Watch and pray. Yeah. Watch and pray. Amen. But he also said, Brother Rob, he said, no man that labor among you. The devil likes to smile a lot. Come on, man. Uh, yeah. But be careful about them smiles. Amen. He'll get you in trouble. Yeah. Come on, man. You know, I, I get a thank about my life. 
We used to gather over 41 years. We'd be driving down the road, see, and she'd tell me what I'm thinking. Well, I'm glad I had good thoughts. <laughs> Amen. I loved her. That was the one I loved more, and that was Jesus. And I thought, Lord, the time that we're living in, I never tell me, Brother Rob, I just got quit marrying people, folks. Yeah. Come on. You know the answer I get? Well, if this is going to work, I'll just find me another. I'm serious. Yeah. Come on. That's the attitude of the world. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You think we got a lot of silence up on the earth. Come on, brother. <laughs> what was it? 500 concubines, a thousand wives, a vice versa? Like oh, my Lord. And this is my attitude today, says I want more of you. I want more of you, God. That's right. Because yeah. I realize I'm fixing to face things I've never faced before. Amen. And these days it's going to get a little rougher and a little tougher. Right. Amen. Right. People don't believe that. Right. I'm telling you, folks, it's coming. Yes, amen. We're fixing to go into a time like you ain't never seen. Yes. I ain't talking about hard times, folks. God's going to take care of what he is. But when you look around and see what's going on right now, our schools is a laughing joke. Amen. 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 People don't hear that. When I was in the first grade. We pledged allegiance. Yeah. 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 Most of you young people today don't even know what the pledge of allegiance is. Right. Think about it. And I tell you what, the teachers I had just stepped out of line. They had a way to put you back in real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Boy, some of them teachers drilled holes in their paddles, and I'm telling you, that brings that iron for old God. Amen, brother. If it don't get your attention, you know, there's something, something bad wrong with you. I'm fixing to close. I know it's getting late. But we're living in a time that we're going to have to press and push and hold on. Amen. Come on, man. I'm talking about holding on to the Word of God. Yeah. There's two that church tell you now. As long as you get saved, it don't matter what you do after that. I beg your pardon. Uh, the Bible kind of gives us the illustration. You can take an old hog, wash it, make it real clean, turn it loose, and what gets what it does? Right back, go right back to the mud hole. What are you saying, preacher? I'm saying you can't go back to the mud hole. You got to stay out of the mud hole. You got to stay under the blood. And the blood's going to make more work the way you were saying. Doesn't it? But we're living in that time. I'm about to know. But we're living in a serious time. She don't want to boss her opinion. I don't like her over here. She's out. I'm not sure what it is. But the time that we're living in is a pressing time. Amen. Paul said, examine yourself daily. Huh? Amen. Not weekly or monthly Come on. or yearly, but daily. Amen. Know where you stand with God. Huh? There's two things, folks, that we can count on. And that's death and judgment. Amen. <coughs> We used to have a little sister had one of them beehives. Well, she sang, "I want my Lord to be satisfied with me." Oh God, he shot the whole thing and won't see the whole thing. See, it's required. It's a requirement for us to love all. Amen. Huh? Some churches, they want people that's got the money. And the one that can't buy a soap, they don't want them. That's right. Come on. Come on. Yeah, Amen. 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 The 
time that we're living in, folks, it's growing late. Jesus is about to come. Stay with me tonight if you want. You know, one of my favorite places to eat is the Golden Corral. You about lose your mind when you go in there. I'm a medium. And you, you walk up and cut your piece of ham, I'll cut your little thin piece of I don't know how many times you won't see me to push more on my plate. But I like to eat. I ain't gonna play with it, I'm gonna eat. See, we're living that time, folks. A lot of our people in the church don't want to eat no more. They got their mouth closed, their ears closed, their heart closed. And you can find them very easily because they're the one that condemns everybody of the church. And you got them that just loves pity parties. Come on. Ain't nobody been through what I've been through. <laughs> My God, wake up and smell the coffee. Amen. They've done been through it. They've done shut it down to glory and they're pressing on. Amen. Amen. I quit, quit one a long time ago what people think about me. But they don't love it, they can't go to heaven. It's just that simple. Amen. I guess one of the first songs I ever learned in church. I've been on my way to heaven for a long, long time. There's many things that's happened that's clouded up my mind. I got more to go to heaven for than I have. Oh, my God. 